Hello, and welcome to our series on the procurement process. Today, we are going to show how to create a material which will be treated as a stock item, meaning items we buy and keep in storage for use at a later date. We do this by creating a material master record, which contains information about our material, like its description, the unit in which it is ordered, whether in pieces, volume or boxes, and also the purchasing price. So starting off, I'll maintain my industry sector and my material type, which is construction and operating supplies respectively. I move on to select my views, which basically contains the different screens with different information that can be maintained on the material being created. For the purposes of this lesson, I'm going to keep it to the basics. So I maintain my basic information, my purchasing information, storage information, and accounting information. Next off, I maintain my plans, which is basically the different subsidiaries of my company, and same for locations, which will be defined, which is a unit defined in the enterprise structure where I maintain my stock. I go ahead and create the description for my material, maintain my base units of measure, which is each in my case, and I have a material group defined for my type. The material group is just basically a definition that is made to group identical materials together for the purposes of ease of reporting and tracking of spending. So next off, I maintain my accounting information by maintaining the valuation class which helps in the automatic assignment of costings or expenses to respective general ledger accounts. And I also maintain my price. So on the accounting view, if there was an available stock of the three millimeter pipe, you would be able to view its price and also the quantity plus the value of the inventory that you currently have. After filling in all my information, I go ahead and save. The system automatically generates a material number, which can then be used when creating purchasing documents. This brings us to the end of our lesson for today. If you would like to see more of these videos, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get alerts of when new videos are up. Thank you.